Hi guys, this is Max. Welcome to my channel. We're here with Andressa. She's from Brazil and uh, she comes here because uh, she has a, a, a problem with her back. And uh, can we talk about uh, a little bit uh, what you feel, your symptoms? Uh... Yeah, actually I feel pain in my back when I am, when I am in the gym, when I work out and, and with a lot of pesos, like mm -hmm. five kilos and working. What kind of movement exercise do you do? That is, uh, Normally, I'm, I'm using the, my hands to go down with the pesos and doing force with my back to make this move. Mm -hmm. And this is... So the, lo the, lumbar, is, the lumbar yeah. is hurting? Yeah. And um, why are you doing that? Like you're trying to lose weight? Uh... Yeah, I definitely. I'm always pursuing to lose weight, and I'm trying to be better with my body. And now I'm trying to lose weight and perder medidas come si, on, yeah, in my belly because I like my butt, but I want to lose uh, weight. Right, right. I got it. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna uh, go through some exercise uh, and then a massage, uh, the functional massage that you guys like, and. Um, Let's see, try to fit in the camera, and uh, well, we start, yeah? Okay. Okay. All right, first thing we want to correct is that deadlift. There are some things that are, are not really um, functional. The first thing is the distance of your hands. Try to do the movement, please. Just a second. So, when you do that, you want to be with your hands, maybe, and the, and the knee, and the, yeah, like that. And you want to increase your um, tightness here, so breathe in, press out my finger, and come up, come up, come up, come up, yeah, let's do one more, same thing, yeah, breathe in, press out, that's it, and you have good tightness in your um, obliques, yeah? Okay. Okay guys, another important exercise is the bird dog. Uh, this helps a lot uh, with st stabilization of the trunk. So we're gonna uh, start uh, creating the tension I was talking about before. Pressing up, yeah. And now we're gonna start moving one leg and the other. So you're gonna press, try to maintain this in this position and come back, come back with the leg. Do the other, maintaining, very good. And that is really helpful because um, it activates the abs more. Yeah, activate, activate, yeah. And now let's use this opposite arm in the front to maintain. Very good, change on the other way. Perfect. Let's do one more rep. She actually get the advice really good. Now, when you stay in that position, you want to create even a little okay. square with a, so you destabilize little square with this and little square with your leg. Very good, very good. And this is really important if you have back pain or if you have a um, hyperlordosis to uh, create uh, and to watch out that you don't have any rotation of the hips, that you can maintain this neutral position that she is maintaining. Okay, let's start the exercise. Okay, another exercise is uh, really important for this kind of problem is um, this side plank all the way up. And you want to activate this muscle, yeah? And uh, go down, you go all the way up. You activate, and you go down. Is it hard? No. It's it's kind of easy, so yeah. no. It's what? It's kind of easy. Easy? Yeah. Let's do uh, five, five more reps. Five? <laughs> One, very good, go all the way up. Two. Three, so the, the idea is to maintaining that tight uh, core when you go up. So the breathing is super important and all the way up perfect okay this is the third exercise so another important exercise that actually is really helping with the release of the glute medius 
is this. So you go in a flexion position, you find a trigger point, let's say that here is the sacro, you fight for the trigger point, and you go all the way back, you turn in, and you go all the way in the front. Do you feel any kind of pain? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and go back. So you point, uh, you can do it even with your, with your finger, you go again, and you follow all the um, where the, uh, the glute medius attach, and you go all the way there. So try, try to do yourself. You can put your yeah. finger there, yes, and you press where you feel more pain. Generally, is where the trigger point is. Yeah, keep on doing it. So this is a. So you look for the point. Go all the way up and down, and you look for that point that it hurts. Generally, it's close. Is it one of these points here? Okay. Let's move uh, to another position that is going to help uh, your lower back. Let's go in a childbirth position. So, we're going to start working the erector spine all the way into the sacrum. Does it hurt? No. Actually, it's good. So, the idea is to open up the lumbar on the side. You want to go on the side. You don't want to go in this direction, but to the opposite direction, to allow the spine to come up. So, you go down and on the side, down and on the side all the way to the sacrum and all the way in the other direction you're gonna go like this another thing you can do is opening in this way you wanna press the thoracolumbar fascia on one side and the sacrum in the other do you feel the stretch? Yeah. And this is kind of a, in the in the neutral position because you you're pressing in this neutral position. If you want to increase the kind of stretch you have in uh, in the thoracolumbar fascia, you can ask the client to move one hand and go. In, on the side with the other ones too yeah so you have uh, this curve here and you have a uh, more increased possibility of stretching everything so stretch Here you can do some spring on the vertebra. Even if you go like this, yeah, both. Go completely on your hand, on your hand like this. Mm -hmm. No, and like this. Oh, 
Okay. And start like a bending. Yeah. There. And do the opposite. Change. Change position. You go with yes, yes, like all the way up, like a cat. More, 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 more. That's it. Maintain, 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 maintain. So we're working the extensor of the spine, change again, especially here. We go all the way up and all the way down, change. And you can reach the sacral and open up. Let's do it again, up. Go all the way up. So the hips, ankle mobility is super important to avoid back pain. So we make sure we have a good uh, movement here. Super important. And she seems like a, she has it on this and on the other one. So here. Type there, huh? Mm -hmm. Is it tight on the back? So in this position, you can use uh, your 
lunge position to move the hips and relax the sacrum. And you can even add some movement with your hand. Gentle, one vertebra at a time. Just go down, 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 and then going down. And then stretch. Slide. And slide. Okay. No, it's funny, I don't know why. It's funny. Yeah. It's relaxing, really relaxing. Like, uh, allevi 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 alleviating. Alleviating? Alleviating? No, rel relieving. <laughs> Did it hurt? No! <laughs> it is different, you know. <laughs> but I don't feel nothing different. No, it's no. Everything it's a... is, the right, is in the right place. Yeah, I think it's, it's the first time you, you gather. <laughs> it's the first time? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And go down now like this. Yeah? Just a little crack there. Okay, let's go face up. Okay. 
How do you feel? Good. Yeah? Yeah, really good. Can you move your neck? <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. See you soon. And subscribe.